The state of democracies around the world is concerning, as only a small fraction of the world's population lives in a full, functioning democratic systems. The fact that 55% of the world's population does not live according to democratic values is alarming, as it is a key foundation for individual freedoms and rights. The decline in global democracy scores is worrying. Events such as the war in Ukraine and COVID-19 measures are playing a role in its decline around the world. Democracy is not a static system, and it requires ongoing efforts and commitments to maintain and improve. There are many factors that contribute to the health of a democratic environment, including the rule of law, free and fair elections, a free press, and protection of human rights. It is crucial that individuals and governments prioritize these factors and works to strengthen democratic institutions. It is also worth noting that the state of democracy is not the same across all countries. We intend to provide current affairs in five minutes packs. Please support us through your likes and shares and subscribe our channel for more five minute video packs. The Democracy Index can provide valuable insights into the state of democracies around the world. It is based on five categories, electoral process and pluralism, civil liberties, the functioning of government, political participation, political culture. Each category is evaluated on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 lowest and 10 being the highest score. The scores are then combined to create an overall score for each country. This allows a detailed analysis of each country's democratic health. The example of the US democracy score shows how the Economist Intelligence Unit methodology works in practice to measure the performance of democracy in a country. The United States received a score of 7.85 out of 10, placing it in the category of flawed democracies. This score reflects a range of issues, from poor political culture to governance problems, but still it indicates that the US has a free and fair electoral system and civil liberties are at place. If we look at Africa, the state of democracy is mixed, with some countries showing improvements, while others are struggling. Mauritius is the highest ranking country in the region, considered as a full democracy. South Africa, Cape Verde, and Botswana, are all categorized as flawed democracies. Several African countries, such as Nigeria, Tanzania, and Ethiopia, have experienced declines in their democracy scores due to issues such as restrictions on the media and civil society, and increased repression of political opposition. However, there are also positive developments in the region, such as the successful democratic transitions in Ethiopia, and peaceful elections in Malawi and Zambia. Nigeria has also seen improvements in its democracy score in recent years, still there are significant challenges that remains, including corruption and political violence. Coming to Asia, Japan is the only country considered as a full democracy, while several others, including South Korea, Taiwan, and Indonesia, are categorized as flawed democracies. Asian region also includes some of the world's most authoritarian regimes, such as North Korea, China, and Myanmar. Several Asian countries, including Thailand and Cambodia, have experienced decline in their democracy scores in recent years, due to restrictions on freedom of expression and the media, as well as increasing authoritarianism. If we look at Europe, it is definitely the region with the highest concentration of full democracies, with countries such as Norway, Iceland, and Denmark leading the way. However, some countries, such as Hungary and Poland, have seen declines in their democracy scores in recent years, due to restrictions on media freedom and judicial independence. Overall, European region has the highest concentration of full democracies. Ongoing challenges exist however, such as the rise of far-right movements and the erosion of democratic norms, highlights the need for continued vigilance and commitment to democratic values. The Democracy Index has been criticized for its methodology and biases. Some critics argue that it places too much emphasis on the functioning of government and not enough on civil liberties and political culture. 
other argues that the index reflects Western democratic values and does not take into account the unique political and cultural contexts of different countries. Despite these criticism, the Democracy Index remains a useful tool for analyzing and comparing the state of democracy around the world. It provides a starting point for discussions about how to improve democracy in different countries, and can help identify areas for improvement. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos.